Hello everyone and welcome to the Traveling Turkeys. I'm Alexi and today I want to go over the uh, different gear that we're going to be bringing on our cross country road trip. And uh, we're going to begin by just going over some of our camp equipment, uh, tackling some of our clothing and basics, uh, you know, toiletries, all that good stuff. And then uh, we'll just lightly touch on some of the tech gear. So uh, let's get started. So here you guys can see that our beautiful living room has been bombarded with a massive pile of gear. And this is basically all that will be taken along for our roughly month long cross country road trip voyage. And we're gonna just kind of dive into this pile here and kind of break down what is what and uh, why we're kind of bringing it along and some of the favorite things that we're packing with us and stuff. Um, so let's dive in. So first and foremost, I wanna go over the tent we're gonna be bringing. So this is gonna be our home away from home for the majority of our vacation. And it is um, actually a Costco find. This right here is the uh, core brand six person instant cabin tent. So this six person tent is what's known as an instant cabin tent. Now what that instant cabin tent means is that you can set this whole tent up in around a minute. Yeah, that's crazy, right? But the thing is, uh, what makes this tent different than others is that it has full integration. Now the, the frame is connected to, you know, the canvas, uh, material. So basically it's like a giant pop-up. You're going to pull the tent out, unfold it, and you're just going to, it's going to be, begin to spring to life. You're just going to pull the different, um, rods up and it'll inst instantly start clicking and taking shape on. So, uh, you don't really have to connect different parts and pieces. Um, everything is integrated into one unit. So we're really looking forward to that ease of use. On top of that, we're loving that extra height we're gonna have, 72 inches tall. This tent is gonna give us plenty of room to change comfortably and keep our gear nice and dry. Here we've got some easy instructions and uh, troubleshooting tips. And one thing that we decided to do that the tent uh, is actually purchase a ground cloth for this tent. We just went to Walmart. We found uh, this kind of tarp and it happened to be the exact dimensions of the uh, tent nine by 12. And we're just going to set that underneath the tent um, just so we have a little bit of extra uh, padding um, and comfort. And um, just going to keep things a little bit cleaner and neater. And uh, another cool thing that we're doing as well is we're bringing some extra stakes with us because uh, some of the reviews on this tent stated that the stakes weren't very heavy duty at all. And uh, quite frankly, you know, we want to make sure that we have um, everything we need and more. So we're bringing along some extra stakes. And uh, all in all, we're super excited to use the tent. We just uh, bought it on Costco.com. Uh, it costs about $140. So uh, for a six person tent, I don't think it gets any better than that. $140 straight from Costco.com. Next on our list, we've got a couple of easy basics. Uh, this right here is a sunshade to keep the car nice and cool while we're parked. And you gotta have the Road Atlas. This was an awesome gift from Meredith. Uh, shout out to vlog number one. Uh, we're really looking forward to taking this uh, Atlas around with us because uh, you always should have a physical map around. You never know when your phone might die or you're lost. You lose single, a signal or something along those lines and you need to revert back to the old school tried and true methods of getting around. Now we're left with the big, big box. Now this big box right here, or bin, is our camping equipment. It's the sort of hodgepodge of camp luxuries that you just kinda need or really don't need. Now that's the really uh, interesting thing about this um, whole setup of gear here because this is our first cross country road trip. Um, we've, we've never really done anything along these lines. We don't know exactly how much or how little gear we should be bringing. And so we kind of threw in some extra luxuries here and there. And I'm really looking forward to doing a post video where we kind of see what we used and what we didn't. But you're gonna kind of start seeing now that a, we, we have some interesting things in our selection. Uh, you know, like Febreze just to keep the tent 
smelling nice and good. Uh, we have some extra blankets. Uh, these are just camp blankets that fold up nice and easily. And, um, you know, some really, really important things. Camp towels. You know, always got to have a nice, easy to pack, lightweight towel to throw around. Uh, you know, for when you're taking a shower. Uh, the Z pack, uh, Z pad uh, seat rests. These are our camp essential right here. Um, and a couple dry bags here. This big, big gray thing is the air mattress, and here's the fan to blow it up. Uh, we have a couple hammocks to set up for uh, different lounge hikes. And um, in this bag right here, this is a dry bag. I've got my camp kitchen, uh, where you know, just carrying around a little burner stove and uh, some little pots and pans. And in here, I got some other miscellaneous gear like a uh, first aid kit and uh, some different uh, ponchos and things like that, just in case uh, the weather was to turn nasty on us. Ah, oh, the big blue bag. What a random assortment of goodies. This is kind of our black hole bag, if you will. It is just our uh, throw-in uh, collection of goodies that we just want to access easily. We have some Frisbees to play around with here, paper towels, our bed sheets, um, some pillows and some uh, some really really staple uh, house you know kind of toiletry items like moleskin, uh, shampoo, uh, toothbrushes, uh, baby wipes. Yo, these guys are a hack right here. Not only are they great for you know going to the bathroom, but they're also great for cleaning yourself. These are an instant shower right here. Campers must include some baby wipes right there all right moving on to some more fun stuff we've got our food that's right these three bags right here kind of comprise the different uh dry food and drinks that we're going to be bringing um we have a cooler as well but i'm going to show you guys that right after um this first red bag here has um just basically some snacks chips uh stuff to make s'mores uh cliff bars all these yummy snacks and goodies brought to you by none other than Costco. Uh, we tried to go bulk here since we're going to be gone about a month. Uh, a lot of these staples like granola bars and stuff we're going to be using every day. So uh, instead of refueling, let's just go big or go home and get a lot of those basics. This is none other than an Ikea original design. Uh, it costs us about $8. And what it does is it basically allows us to have easy access to you know, staple items that we're gonna be using throughout our camp. Uh, you know, some oatmeal right here, some snacks, chips and crackers, um, you know, jelly and almond butter for sandwiches, things like that. Um, we just kind of put the basics, the things we're gonna be using most often into this little convenient bin right here. And you can take it along for picnics or you can just you know, keep it in the car this way. Uh, it also doubles as a trash can if you want. If we decide that, you know, we just rather have an easy trash can, we can just take the food out and put a liner in here. It actually does that quite easily. Um, in here, there is an internal frame that allows you to basically convert it into a trash can or some type of, um, you know, Maybe if you want to even put ice in here temporarily, you can line it with some plastic, um, all that good stuff. And the last bag here has our surplus of uh, beverages and has actually has um, one of my favorite gadgets we're bringing along, the Life Straw water bottle. Now this right here is another Costco find. A lot of our gear came from Costco because it's just the best prices and you also have that excellent return policy in case anything were to go wrong along the trip. I feel like we're always gonna be able to get our money back or get some type of compensation for uh, failed gear in this sense by shopping at Costco. And this Life Straw bottle right here is um, you know, basically our backup water supply slash hiking bottle. We can uh, fill up at streams, different lakes, uh, any, any water crossing basically. Uh, we'll be able to just uh, keep this on our in our backpack here and easily access clean water anywhere we go. Um, you know, a lot of backpackers use the Sawyer scree Squeeze or other um, filtration methods, but this one just seemed to be the best bang for our buck. 
Uh, we got two Life Straw bottles for uh, under $60 at Costco. So that saved us about $20 um, if you were to purchase them at the store. And uh, we have tried these. They are awesome. The water tastes great. I mean, it tastes better than filtered water. For some reason, these things just work really well. And it's kind of strange how good the water tastes. You know, we have a couple of extras here. Um, we have some, uh, you know, regular water bottles that are insulated to keep things cold. Um, definitely, if you're bringing a Life Straw bottle, do bring a couple of just traditional water bottles. These are just some Camelback sport bottles. And the reason why you're going to want some of those other water bottles is because if you're putting drinks like juice or soda or, or Gatorade, any of those things, um, into the life straw, it will damage it. So you're gonna wanna use this traditional water bottle for um, different forms of hydration. So we're gonna be mixing some electrolyte powder into these Camelbacks. And then we just have a ton of water bottles. We bought a Costco 40 pack and we're taking all 40 water bottles with us. We just have them split between um, this bag here and our cooler. So let's dive right into the cooler. Meet our cooler. This is our Ozark Trail Yeti knockoff straight out of Walmart. It's a 26 quart cooler and it's a little god, but he's going to do exactly what we need to do for this trip. And that is keep some basics cool for us. Right now, this bad boy is loaded to the brim with water bottles. And that's because uh, we're just kind of temporarily using it as a water bottle storage. There's no ice in this cooler right now, but there's sure will be some very soon. And it's got some cool nifty features. Got a bottle opener right here that's integrated into the um, uh, locking mechanism. So you can just put a regular hinge lock right here. Uh, it's got the Yeti inspired uh, rubber T, T-Rex latches that just snap right into the base. Now I purchased this Ozark trail cooler actually from OfferUp. It was brand new. The gentleman had never used it and I paid uh, under $50 for it. I think I paid $45 for it, so it was a steal of a deal. Brand new though, these things aren't that bad. They go for about um, $75, $80. Uh, sometimes you'll get them on sale for different rollback events, but um, all in all, it's got the little carrying handle right here, two cup holders for uh, basically holding ice for close to three days. I haven't been able to find a better cooler for the price. Um, so we are very happy with this cooler and it'll do us well for our adventure road trip. Enough about food, it's making me hungry. So let's talk about some gear. Let's go into my favorite part of the whole adventure process and that's uh, footwear and clothes. Now that's probably where I spend the majority of my money for the gear is in the clothing and shoes. And I've got my reasoning behind it so I'll dive into that later. But right now, this bag right here is our shoe carrying pouch. It's just got some of the footwear that we're not gonna be using uh, stored. This is a really nice, lightweight and breathable bag so the shoes won't get stinky while they're stored in here. And my wife and I are each bringing three pairs of shoes. Um, we're bringing a pair of technical hikers. These are my uh, wife's Saucony, Maddie's Saucony Peregrines. Uh, her favorite hiking shoes. I'm bringing along a pair of Topo Ultra Venture Ones as my pair of technical hikers. Got to have that Vibram outsole. I also have some custom orthotics in here to keep me extra comfy. And um, so, in, in addition to technical hikers, we're bringing some, uh, you know, sandals. Maddie's got some flip flops. I'm bringing some Crocs. Uh, these are kind of shower shoes, basically. And then we were bringing a pair of, uh, you know, kind of comfort hikers. And for my pair of comfort hikers, and Maddie and I both have the same pair of comfort hikers. They are the New Balance Hero V6s. Um, these are just an awesome pair of comfort hikers because they have so much support. Um, they're almost like a Hoka in the sense of comfort. Uh, they have this um, super uh, plus plush um, foam. Fresh foam midsole is what New Balance calls it, but they also have a Vibram outsole, a Mega Grip, Vibram Mega Grip, which is gonna give us that durability and stability on the trail, um, but also that cushioning is just gonna keep our feet 
um, healthy. It's going to help us recover from aggressive day hikes. And uh, on top of that, these are a little bit more of a fashionable shoe. So you can wear these around the city um, and not feel like completely um, like a mountain person. You can feel a little bit more like a civilian. So three pairs of shoes per person, not bad. That's one pair of technical hikers, one pair of comfort shoes, and one pair of sandals slash kind of water shoes that you can get wet. Mine are the Crocs. Maddie's are uh, the pair of Chacos. All right, it's finally time to talk about clothes. This right here is my 70 liter North Face Base Camp duffel bag. It is my favorite duffel bag ever made. I've got my business card in here in case it ever gets lost. It's got backpack straps and of course side uh, handles as well. And um, this bag is just super rugged and waterproof. And it's ha um, inside of it, it's holding my adventure clothes. That's right, y'all. Here we are. The inside of the North Face duffel bag. I've got my packing cubes all organized in here. And uh, basically what I've done is created a cube packing system that allows me to just separate each category of clothing. So I have a bag for uh, pants and shorts, a bag for hiking shirts, um, a bag for t-shirts, uh, you know, underwear, socks, all that good stuff. It's all organized in here. And up top here, I've just got some basics like uh, some extra plastic bags, a little laundry sack, my, uh, my um, lint roller, things like that. Cool piece of uh, gear right here. This is my uh, Fial Raven uh, Abisco summer hiking hat. I've just squished it down in here for easy access. As far as clothing goes, I'm really looking forward to showing you guys um, my clothing as the trip unfolds because right now it's all packed up and I want to just actually show you all what the uh, clothes looks like on body and um, kind of go over some of the different gear that I've accumulated. But um, my favorite pieces of clothes right now that I'm bringing along are uh, my Fial Raven Abisco uh, hiking pants. And I also have a really cool uh, North Face uh, hiking shirt that I want to show you guys, as well as some Nike ACG gear. But uh, for now, you'll just have to wait for our hiking vlogs to check those out. Now diving into our hiking gear, we have the Cascade Mountain Tech trekking poles. These trekking poles are an Amazon special. Uh, I paid $35 for both sets. And we have been loving them. You, you have seen them featured on vlog number one. Those are the poles that Maddie and I are both holding as we're trekking along Crowder's Mountain. And uh, these poles rock. They uh, are super stable, really lightweight. They're aluminum trekking poles, so nothing fancy, no carbon fiber or anything. But for the price, we're really looking forward to using them on our road trip. They're going to give us a lot of extra uh, stability as we're hiking out west and they come with all kinds of cool attachments and features mud uh mud foots um you know different little little uh mud clamps and uh different types of uh, snow baskets even so you have every attachment necessary all right right here we got my daily hiking backpack it's the north face basin 24 um this is a 22 liter um comfort hiking bag. It's super, super um, minimal. It's just got one uh, interior pocket here for like a piece of tech. And uh, otherwise it's just fully open. I got a book in there, sunglasses, uh, my knife, my lighter, just some of my EDC. It's got a rain fly right here on the bottom. And it's got these super comfort padded straps right along the back here. This backpack also has some cool features like uh, a trekking pole pocket. It's located right here in the back. You can slip some trekking poles right in there. Just um, literally just whoop, stick them right in your back as you're hiking around. And uh, it also has um, some easy access water bottle pouches on the sides here, which I like. Thanks guys for watching this far. Super quick. Uh, I just want to talk about the different tech I'm taking along with me. 
All right, here we have it. Tech number one, our JBL mini speaker right here. This is the Clip 3. It is a bulletproof little travel speaker. Um, clips on, it's Bluetooth, and um, it's water resistant. So we're looking forward to jamming out uh, at the campgrounds. All right, we're bringing along a camera for the adventure, and that is my Sony a7 II. This is a um, mirrorless digital camera, but it's full frame. It's an awesome, awesome camera. I'm only bringing one lens along for the adventure, and that is the um, F2 28 millimeter uh, street photography travel lens. Um, it's a really, really compact lens. It's a... Um, a fixed lens, it doesn't zoom. So um, in that sense, it's gonna kind of inspire us to be extra creative with our shots. Here we got the very piece of tech that I'm holding in my hands right now. It's the DJI OM4. This is the gimbal that I'm gonna be using to grab all of the action shots and video footage. 80% um, of the vlog is filmed using the DJI OM4 and my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Um, this has been an awesome piece of tech. Picked this guy up on eBay. It was an open box, kind of special. The guy had just used it a couple times and figured out that it wasn't for him. So um, I paid about $130 for this piece of tech. Um, and uh, brand new, it's around $170. And last but not least is my 13-inch MacBook Pro that I'm bringing along for the adventure. This is the... Uh, 2012 MacBook Pro. I've been using this bad boy for a long, long time. He's completely souped up on the inside, so he's been running like a champ, and I am looking forward to bringing along this clunky, heavy piece of tech along with me to do some of the editing for the videos and continue to do research for destinations and trips. But all in all, um, this guy completes the tech setup because all you really need is a computer and a camera. Uh, for an adventure in my opinion. Well y'all, there you have it. That is our gear for the adventure. I'm looking forward to updating you guys with more in-depth info and footage of the gear as we are using it throughout the adventure. Um, also looking forward to making a post video sometime in July when we get back, kind of showing you guys an overview of what we loved, what we didn't like about the gear, and kind of our recommendations and tips for your own road trip sometime soon. Um, all in all, Thanks guys for sticking out. Um, this was a long video, but I really love gear. I'm passionate about it. And I hope to keep updating you guys on it as the, as the trip goes on. You can follow our Instagram at Traveling Turkeys. And of course, visit um, alexiturkey.com forward slash adventure for more info on the trip. Um, we love you all so much. Happy trails out there.